we know that if numbers have exactly two factors then they are called prime numbers and if it has more than two factors then it's called a composite number so except one which has only one factor so one would be neither prime nor composite now two onwards all the numbers have two factors for sure that is one and the number itself so from two onwards what we can say is that number would be either prime or composite but now the question was how do we find whether a number is prime or composite well this was answered by a greek mathematician whose name was eratosthenes so he actually invented a process by which we could find prime numbers and that process is called the sieve of eratosthenes so let's try to find prime numbers from 2 to 100 let's say so let's apply that process which is the sieve of eratosthenes to find numbers prime numbers from 2 to 100 i have not written one because we already know that one is not a prime number or composite so one is removed now i want to find prime numbers now rather than finding prime numbers it is easier to find composite numbers because we know divisibility rules what we can do is if i find a number that has more than two factors that is any number here would have two factors for sure if i can find one more number that divides a number then that number becomes composite so what i'll do is i'll keep on removing the composite numbers that is what the sieve of eratosthenes uh, says that you keep on eliminating composite numbers and at the end of it you'll be left with prime numbers so we start with the number 2 we say that 2 is prime the first number that we start with is a prime number now what we do is we try to eliminate all the numbers that have 2 as a factor that is any number that has 2 at the end 4 at the end 6 at the end 8 at the end or 0 would be divisible by 2 and 2 becomes a factor so i remove all the numbers so these are all the numbers in red which have 2 as a factor so they are all composite hence i remove them from my list so i have removed these numbers from my list now the white ones are the numbers that i am actually left with so the next number which i see is 3 hence i say that 3 is also a prime number now now once i say 3 is a prime number what i'll do is i'll again find all the numbers that have 3 as a factor or you can say i'll find multiples of 3 so the numbers that are in bold are all the numbers that have 3 as a factor or you can say are numbers that are multiples of 3 now you can see that some of these numbers like 6 12 24 18 they've already been removed so what i'll do is i'll remove the remaining numbers that is 9 15 21 so i'll remove these remaining numbers all the remaining numbers which are still not removed i'll remove these numbers so these are the numbers and i remove them from my list now so the next number that you see is 5 so 5 becomes prime so 5 is the prime number these are the ones in bold are the multiples of 5 or numbers that can be divided by 5 which have 5 as a factor and so these numbers are composite now all these numbers have already been removed from the list i need to remove these numbers some of these have been removed i remove the remaining numbers too from my list so these are the remaining numbers we remove these numbers also next what we left with is 7 6 is already removed 7 so 7 becomes prime now 7 is a prime number we will say and the ones in bold are the multiples of 7 or are those numbers which can be divided by 7 hence 7 is a factor of all these numbers so apart from 1 and the number itself they have one more factor which is 7 so they are composite more than two factors so i'll remove these composite numbers so some of these numbers have already been removed i'll remove the remaining numbers i see 49 here which is not been removed again 77 has not been removed so i remove the remaining numbers which are these numbers i remove these numbers now what am i left with 8 9 10 10 already removed 11 so 11 becomes the next prime number 
So this becomes my next prime number. Now let us see all the multiples of 11 or all the numbers in this list that can be divided by 11 that have 11 as a factor. These are all the numbers. 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88 and 99. I see that all these numbers have already been removed from my list. So I stop my process here. I can stop here and what I can say is that the remaining numbers in the list are all prime. Well, later Eratosthenes actually found out that is greater than the largest number here. 11 square is 121, which is greater than 100, the largest number here. We could not stop at 7, because 7 square is 49, and that is not greater than 100. But as soon as I come to 11, its square is greater than 100, and hence I can stop here. Or the other way is that you already, you've seen that all the factors, all the numbers, that had 11 as a factor were already covered, were already removed. Hence, the remaining numbers are now the prime numbers. So, this is all, this is a list of all the numbers from 2 to 100 which are prime. So, that's how I get these prime numbers. So, now can you tell me whether 149 is a prime number or not? 149 will be a prime number if it has exactly two factors. That is 1 and 149. I know it has two factors for sure. So if I can find one more number that divides this number, then I am done. It is not a prime number, it is a composite number. Right? So I need to see whether this is divisible by some number. So for that, we can apply the divisibility rules we have studied to find whether it is divisible by more numbers or not, except 1 and 149. So now, how long can I keep on checking? It can be divisible by numbers less than 149. So from 1, 2, 3, 4 till 148. How long can I keep on checking whether a number divides this number? That is the question. To solve this problem or to ease it, what we do is we check for the least square number. Square number less than this, 149. So square number less than 149 is 144. This is the square number that is less than 149. Now I take the positive square root of this number. This sign itself shows the positive square root. So I get 12. So now all I can do is I need to check numbers that divide this number only till 12. That is an easier way. So rather than checking all numbers from 1 to 148 or 149, easier way is you find the square number which is less than this, perfect square number, you find its under root, you get 12 here in this case. So now what I need to do is check numbers from 1 to 12. I know 1 divides it, so from 2 to 12. I need to find now whether 2 to 12, numbers from 2 to 12 divide 149 or not. That is my task. So I have all these numbers here. Now if one of these numbers divides it, it becomes a composite number because 1 and 149, two factors already there. If I find one more number that divides it, that becomes a factor and hence this would become a composite number. If number from 2 to 12 do not divide this, then it has only two factors, exactly two factors and becomes a prime number. So let's start. 2, well not, last digit is 9, 3, 1 plus 4 plus 9. 10, 14. 14 is not divisible by 3. So this number is not divisible by 3 also. Let's check 4. Now we need not check for 4. We already know that 2 does not divide this number. So 4 is nothing but 2 into 2. So if 2 does not divide it, then 4 also does not will not divide it. Because the factor of 4 which is 2 does not divide this number. Let's move to 5. So 4 does not. 5, last digit is 9, is neither 0 nor 5. So does not divide. 6, neither 2 divides it nor 3 divides it. So 6 is nothing but 2 into 3. So neither 2 divides nor 3. So 6 also 
will not divide this number 149. Let's try for 7. So I have 149. Double the last number 18. Subtract it from the remaining number. I get negative 4. Neither this is 0 nor this is divisible by 7. So this number is not divisible by 7. For 8. Neither divisible by 4 nor 2. Or you can say it's not divisible by 2, so will not be divisible by 8. Because 8 is nothing but 2 multiplied through itself 3 times, so not divisible by 8 also. 9, not divisible by 3, so not divisible by 9 also. 9 is nothing but 3 into 3. 10, 10 is nothing but 5 into 2. Neither divisible by 5, nor divisible by 2. So this number would not be divisible by 10 also. 11. 149. 9 plus 1, 10. Minus 4. Which is 6. So this is neither 0 nor divisible by 11. Hence this number on the whole is not divisible by 11. 12 I can write as 2 into 2 into 3. Neither divisible by 2 nor divisible by 3. So this number cannot be divisible by 12 also. So one thing I get is that this number is not divisible from 2 to 12 by any of the numbers. Hence I can say that this is a prime number. Not divisible by any number. But the second thing what you should observe is that we need not check divisibility by 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. We actually did not. All I did was I knew all these numbers are composite numbers and can be broken down into prime numbers, multiples of prime numbers. Now all I need to do was check whether it is divisible by the prime factors or not. If not then the number also need not be checked. So rather than checking all these numbers from 2 to 12, what we can see is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Only these numbers would have been sufficient to check whether this is a prime number or not. So these are nothing but prime numbers. So when you need to check a number, say any number, whether it is a prime number or not, find the lowest square number less than this, find a square number less than this, take its under root, rather than checking all the numbers, check only prime numbers that are less than that. So for 149, Square number less than this is 144. I take the square root of 144, positive square root, I get 12. Prime numbers less than 12. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Check divisibility by these numbers. If any of these divides 149, then it becomes a composite number. If they do not, then 149 is a prime number. So now, can you tell this? Whether 1 or 3 is a prime number or not. Square number less than 103. First thing is that. Would be 100. Square root of 100. Positive square root. 10. Prime numbers less than 10. 2, 3, 5, 7. Next is 11 which is greater than 10. So these are the 4 numbers by which I need to check whether this number is divisible or not. So these four numbers, is 1 or 3 divisible by 2? No. Last digit is not an even number. 3, sum of digits is 4, which is not divisible by 3. 5, last digit is 3, is neither 0 nor 5, not divisible by 5. 7. So I have 1, 0, 3. Double the last digit 6. 10 minus 6 gives me 4. Neither 0 nor divisible by 7. Hence this number on the whole is not divisible by 7. So I can say that 1 or 3 is a prime number. So that's how you can find whether a number is prime or not. Easier way is to find whether it is composite or not and then if it is not composite it would be prime.